Are you a high energy person or are you a low energy person? What kind of energy do you have? low energy person or a high energy person hello y'all I'm Diana Brienne well I'm not going to say anything about either of them I know people that are low energy people and I know people that are high energy people and I love them both they're just different but I think it's good to identify what kind of person we are are we a high energy person a low energy person or somewhere kind of in between well, I think I've already identified myself. I'm a high energy person. I've always got a lot of things going on. If you call me on the phone, I'm like, hello, you know, and then I have, I know someone personally that when you call them, they're like, hello, you know, it's like, it's, it's like such a low tone. You can barely hear them. And I'll say, hello. <laughs> Now, that may work for them, but I think in their situation, it's really not working for them. So we've got to decide, is our high energy working for us? Is our low energy working for us? If it's not, we may want to kind of tweak it a bit. Now, I'm not saying become like someone else. If you're kind of a very quiet, mild-mannered type of person, that's who you are. That is what makes you special. If you're one of these people that are all over the place, that's what makes you special too. I know somebody from years ago, she was this extremely high energy person. She had like 20 different things going on at once. It made me dizzy, but it worked for her. I knew someone else who was just kind of, you know, a low type of energy person, but it worked for her. She was very happy. Then I've known people that it's not working for. And so I think if we're a high energy person and we're so scattered and nothing's getting done and, and we're making a mess of things, we may want to tweak it. If we're a low energy person and we're just not getting out of bed, we may want to take a look at that. You know, I don't give advice. I don't give suggestions. I just share with you my own views on life and how I see life and how I live my life. Yes, I am a high energy person. I usually have 10 different things going on at once. I usually have a painting going on in one area of the kitchen. I'm cooking dinner in the other area. I've got the phone on my shoulder, talking a little bit or on speakerphone. Now, used to be we'd put them on the, put them on our shoulder like this. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> And um, I'm usually doing something with my husband. I'm usually doing something with my kids. My kids are calling, hey, mom, let's go here. Let's go there. I'm very flexible. I'm very adjustable. That's just how I'm built. But I have friends that are low energy people, and that's just how they're, they're built. Um, you know, I like hanging around high energy people because that tends to rub off on me too. But I'm not so high energy that I'm, I'm scattered. I'm very, very focused in my energies. And I can take a lot on. Some people can't take a lot on. That's just not their personality. But I think it's good to identify what kind of personality we are. Is it working for us? If it's working for us, then I, I think leave it alone. If it's not working for us, then maybe we want to tweak it a little bit. Me personally, I like to be around high energy people because I like to be doing a lot of different things. And I like to be motivated and energized. And if I get around low energy people, it kind of can pull me down a bit. So I don't tend to hang out a lot with those kinds of people, although I really do like them and they have a place in my life and some of them are very good friends. It's just that I kind of like people who are excited about life and energetic about life and out there doing a lot of things. So from my house to yours, may God bless you. And I hope you subscribe to all four of my channels and I hope to talk to you all soon again. Bye-bye.
place to relax and a place to enjoy you.